Okay, today we are going to learn how to put fractions and decimals on a number line. This is very similar to what you were doing in the last unit when you needed to put them into order, except now instead of putting them in, in addition to putting them into order, you're going to put them on the number line itself. So there's a couple of steps you're going to want to take. The first step that you're going to need to do is to take all of your fractions and turn them into decimals. Luckily, you know how to do this already. So take your calculator. I'm going to start with 3 fifths. I'm going to take our calculator and we're going to do 3 divided by 5. Remember, it's the numerator divided by the denominator. And when we hit enter, we get our fraction. In this case, 0 0.6. So I'm going to turn my fraction here of 3 fifths into 0 0.6, 6 tenths. Uh, this decimal is already done, and this decimal is already done, so what I really need to do is focus on this fraction. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my, my numerator, which is 7, I'm going to divide it by the denominator, which is 12, and I'm going to get 0 0.583333. Well, in this case, I can just put the, three, the line over the 3 saying that this 3 goes on forever. Now that my fractions are converted, I don't need the calculator anymore, and I am going to now put them on the number line. Now, in order to put them on the number line, I have a blank number line that starts at 0, and it ends at 1. I need to pay attention to where it starts and where it ends so that I can make sure to put my numbers onto the number line in the correct place. Now, I've got a lot of bunch of empty dashes here. And what I need to do is to figure out what each of these dashes represents and write it down so that I know what I'm looking at. Well, I'm going to say if this starts at 0 and it ends at 1, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. So that means this is broken into 10 individual pieces. Now, if I were to think about that, each of these would be worth 1 tenth or 1 tenth in decimals. So if this is 1 tenth, then this is 2 tenths, this is 3 tenths, and so on. It's really important that you label your number line because if you're not labeling your number line, you're not going to know where your decimals and fractions go on this number line. If you're just trying to guess, you're li more likely to get it wrong. So now that I've got my number line labeled, I can look at my fractions and my decimals and the de fractions I turned into decimals and figure out where they go. Well, this first one is really easy. This is 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. Well, what do I have right here? 6 tenths. So I'm going to put a dot right here and say, look at this fraction. Aha, this is 3 fifths. So this is where 3 fifths goes on my number line. <laughs> Now I'm going to look at the next number, in this case, 78 hundredths, and I'm going to say, well, that's going to be here. Here's 7 tenths, or 70 hundredths. Here's 8 tenths. This is 78. So if I were to think about this in terms of, of tens, this would be bet really between 7 tenths and 8 tenths, but closer to the 8 tenths. So right about there. I'm going to label that one. Next one I have is 7 twelfths, and I remember that that is when I converted it. 50, uh, 58 hundredths, approximately 58 hundredths. And again, I'm going to look at my decimal. So there's the 5 tenths, and here's the 5 tenths. So I know that it's going to be here, but again, this is 58 hundredths, so it's closer to the 6 tenths. So it's really right here. And I'm running out of room, but I'll try to squeeze it in right there. And then the last number is 13 hundredths. Now that looks more like a 13, so in this case, it's going to go closer to this number here, again closer to the tenths than to the two tenths. So again, that's going to go right about there. There. Now I have labeled all my places on my number line. Each of these goes in a different spot. And that is how I want you to work on this when you're doing this on your assignment. Now, not all the problems that you do are going to be on a number line that is between 0 and 1. Sometimes you might have a number line, that, you know, like in this case, where it's between 0 and 3. And in this case, you're going to have to figure out where these numbers go in relation to these. So once again, we're going to do some very similar steps. First, we're going to convert the fractions into decimals, and then we're going to identify the points on our line, and then we're going to put these numbers onto the line based on where we've put our points. So the first thing we're going to do is convert the fractions. Again, we're going to use a calculator. First one is 1 and 2 thirds. Now I don't have to do the 1 part, I just have to do the 2 thirds part, get the decimal, and then add that to the 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is, again, numerator divided by denominator, so 2 divided by 3, 
that is 0 0.666 and so on. So again, I can use that line. But this is w not just two-thirds, it's one and two-thirds. So instead of a zero here, I'm going to put a one. This is 1.66. And I'm going to put that line over to say that it goes on forever. All right, 2.25, that's the same. That's not going to change. 3 fifteenths, that is going to change. So 3 divided by 15. And in that case, this is 0 0.2. So now I have my numbers all turned into decimals, and now I need to turn my attention to the number line. Again, I'm going to look at this number line just like in the last problem. I'm going to look at this number line and decide what the, the dashes in between mean. Well, in this case, it goes from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and 2 to 3. I notice that this line is halfway between each of these integers, each of these counting numbers. So that means this must be half of each of these. So in this case, this must be 0 0.5. This must be 1.5, and this must be 2.5. Now, if I'm really going to be diligent about this, I could look at this and say, well, what is actually half of each of these numbers? Because that gives me more of a, a better reference point for what to do. So in this case, this would be 0 0.25, this would be 0 0.75, 1.25, think of it like quarters almost, $1.75 to 25 and... 275. That just gives me more places to work from when I'm trying to put my numbers on the number line. So now I'm going to take my numbers. I'm going to take that first number, 1 and 66 hundredths. I'm going to find it on the number line. Well, here's 1 and 5 tenths or 50 hundredths. Here's 1 and 75, so it must be in between the two of these. So somewhere between 50 and 75 is where I want my answer. A little closer to the, well, actually about halfway between. So I'm going to put it right in between those. And then I'm going to label it. So I could either put 1.66, or in this case, I actually want to put my fraction there because that's the number I'm putting in that spot. So 1 and 2 thirds goes right about there. The next number I'm going to do is 2 and 25 hundredths. I already labeled these with each of the, the, the quarters, so I know actually that 2 and 25 hundredths is right there. That's already done for me. So that one's done. The next one that I'm going to do is 2 tenths. Well, I notice that this is a 0, so it must be down here below 1, but, but bigger than 0. I see that this is 25 hundredths, so 0 0.2, 2 tenths must be right here. Uh, oops, I almost wrote the, the, the decimal down. I really need to write this fraction, actually. That is 3 fifteenths on my number line. And finally, 1 and 4 tenths. That's going to go between these two numbers, probably right about there. You don't have to be exact, but you do have to be fairly precise. So again, each of these numbers goes on the number line in the place that it belongs. So remember, first, convert, then label your number line, oops, line, and then place Your numbers. If you can do those three things in that order, you have a very good chance of making sure that these are all correct. Good luck.